So right here, there should be this round steel metal thing that holds all the fuel. But unfortunately, 90% of it is sitting over there. And the remaining 10% is still attached to the bike. And that's not good. But before I dive into the huge problem that is our fuel tank, or would be fuel tank, this huge box has just arrived from Slovakia and it has got what is gonna transform this bike from being a complete wreck into something that is actually legible. And it's the fairing. It's everything that you need for the fairing, including the front subframe and a really awesome fully stitched racing seat as well, all from Profiber. So if you haven't seen their gear, I suggest you check them out at profiber.com. So every build has a catch 22, and that's because I have got a lot of things I've got to do before I can even fit this tank and fit the fairing. But at the very least, what I'm going to try to do today is a mock-up of the fairing. And in order to do that, I've got a few of those little things I've got to fix straight away. So the first thing is I've actually got to fix this. I've got to take all of this uh, electronics and the, the uh, ABS box out of here and I've got to replace this plastic box. So we've got a plastic box over here. So there you go, there's one plastic battery box and that is going to go like that. So we're going to have to take all this apart and put that in. On top of that, before we can fit a fairing, the stand's got to come off because the stand won't work with the race fairing. So we'll take the stand off and we'll run a stand delete. And before we can fit this new front race frame, we actually need to drill out some of these bolts which have broken off inside the stay. So I think that must go like that, just like that there. Okay, so it looks like I'm actually gonna to have to undo bolts off the ABS unit to pull that off. There's two bolts down the bottom there. I'll take the battery out as well. And then right under the bike, I don't know if you can see, but up there is the regulator rectifier and that's actually bolted onto the bottom of this box as well. So, a small job just became a big job. Okay, so another catch 22. Another problem you've got to solve before you can really solve the problem that you want to solve. Solving the problem. I've got to take the ABS module off because I can't fit it through this gap here in the plastic, new plastic piece. Reality is race bikes don't have an ABS anyway. So I think what I'll do is I'll just shell out the cash and buy an ABS delete, get some new cables as well, and get rid of that ugly box. So at least now we've got the rear tank mount sorted. Now you can actually see, look at the damage it did when it ripped off. So you can see it's just ripped them and twisted them around. So this is what we're gonna try and weld back onto there. Now it is external to the tank, so hopefully I'll find someone who's game enough to actually do that. Um, we've got some new bling for the tank as well. We've got a new tank uh, quick release uh, monkey bones tank cap. No point putting that on there because we've got to drain the tank, take the tank pump off, but for now, because I just want to do some mock-ups, we're going to leave the tank on. And now we're going to try and put as much of the fairing on as possible. And there's still a lot to go.
Okay, so next up is the side stand and we've got this great little pack here from Smart Moto. Um, they've given us all of our deletes, our side stand delete, our EVAP delete, um, and also another delete. I just can't remember which delete. Um, so it should be as simple as taking the stand off, unplugging it, plugging the delete in, and then we should be able to get our, our belly pan up high enough and it won't have to worry about the side stand. There you go, one stand, $150 on eBay. So three out of the four front frame mounts had actually snapped clean off. So this is my first time ever using a screw extraction tool and it's actually super easy. with how this is starting to look. Obviously it's still got all the gaps which I need to fix. Um, the gaps at the top just here, the gaps at the bottom of the tank. But that's okay because the next piece is, I've got to put these on and these are the Desus type fasteners and I've never used these before. I've always used fairing clips. Uh, so this will be interesting. Now what I have already done is I've already mocked up a couple just so I can see how they're supposed to work. So I've started with this seat and it looks like this piece here, it comes in two pieces. So it comes in two pieces like this and then you've got to join them together with a couple of screws at the back. And then it also has, that's where the bracket goes forward and holds into this drill point here. This, this little rail, mounts to the inside of the actual seat so that when you put the seat on it locks in place so i think that's pretty awesome actually and then it's got these like pin points here i guess they're like stanchions that hold the seat up as well and that's where these little uh if i took the seat off you'd see that these little uh hills just here sit on top of those mounting points so we've still got a fair bit to do. Even though it's only done 1,500 Ks and this bike is virtually brand new uh, before it was crashed, I'm going to change the oil, change the filters and yeah, another job done. So now I've got to strip this mocked up fairing back off the bike and I've got to be honest, the amount of times I've done this, by the end of this build, I'll be an expert or at least close to. And now I've got to put the k &N air filter in. That just goes in nice and easily. Put it into the old air filter mount and just slide it straight in. Mm. 
and then a fresh top up of oil, new oil filter, job done. Okay, I've managed to get this all lined up pretty good. Uh, on these ones here, I've just used clips, so fairing clips with some nice silver BMW bolts. And then I've used the actual uh, mounts that they provide on the main sections. So here, 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 and then on the other side, I've still got one to go just down here, just by the, uh, by the stand piece. Um, so I'll put that on a little bit later. But before I go any further, I've got to install this, and this is a cam tensioning sensor, or a cam chain sensor. And this costs $399 through BMW. But I jumped on eBay and I found one for BMW i35 or 35 or i3, whatever it is, L313, for $11. So now the real problem is, how on earth am I gonna get this thing installed? Because it fits on the front of the cylinder head, right up behind the fan, and it's right up on top, almost in the middle. It would have been so much easier if I actually had this when I had the exhaust off and I had the radiators off and I could have done it all at the same time. But now, it's not gonna be easy. So that's it all the way up there, right on the front of the cylinder head. I need to get something in there. I need tiny little hands. Did you hear that? I think I hate it when you drop a bolt right down into the fairing. Here we go. One broken sensor. And the new one ready to go in. Sweet. What I didn't show you is that that took me an hour. Okay, so after what feels like eternity because I actually thought this was gonna be a really quick video where I just got the tank fixed and then the fairing would just slap itself right on super quick. But that's not the case. It took me ages, all up around about three days of just part time, trying to get in, get a couple of hours done every day. Um, but it looks sensational. Like it looks absolutely awesome. I can't believe how wicked this bike is going to look. Just wait till it gets all the other bling put on it because up until now, all we've really been focusing on is trying to get the bike running, trying to get it actually operating as a as a bike. Uh, so now we can go ahead and start putting all the 
sports and race components on it. So we've got a heap of stuff coming for this build. Um, most of it's already been ordered. The only thing I can't find is a front wheel. So if anyone has a forged BMW S1000RR K67 front wheel, let me know. Urgently need one. Um, but yeah, there's only a couple of things I'm slightly unhappy with and it's a couple of little gaps. So I'm gonna to have to fix these gaps before we actually go to paint. Uh, and these tabs. I'm gonna replace some of these tabs which you're using to fix this in with. Um, I'm also not too happy with this gap just here. So I'm gonna try and reduce that gap and bring that gap in a little bit. Um, I'm not quite sure I'm gonna do about that dent in the tank. So I think one of the options would be a nice carbon tank cover, sort of the same as what I've done on those bikes there with the carbon tank covers. I think they come up really, really nice. Uh, they look really, very, very cool. Um, and that's pretty much it for getting the bike running. Um, we've ordered a dash, so we've got a dash coming uh, from a mate Dave uh, that we bought the other parts from. We've got some extra parts to finish off up here, including kill switches. Um, all these have to be fixed in place yet, so using bolts through, I've got to drill, drill these all into place. We're waiting on the final parts for the top triple, just for that replacement uh, top piece just there, that little flange thing. Uh, then we've got the new forks coming, uh, we've got the new rear suspension coming, uh, we've got paint and decals, um, we've got a tune, and heaps of other stuff. Um, yeah, like, subscribe, you know the drill, thanks for watching.